Now turn to the other one. Have mercy on me, O oh God, for people assault me. They fight me all day long and oppress me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome. And uh, today is uh, on the Monday of the fifth week of the Lent, as we get here closer to celebrate uh, Jesus' Paschal Feast. Let us uh, once again uh, come to our Lord, acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these uh, sacred mysteries. I confess and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thought and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing. Grant us so to pass from our former race to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. The assembly condemned Susanna to death, but Susanna cried aloud, O eternal God, you know what is hidden and are aware of all things before they come to be. You know that they have testified falsely against me. Here I am about to die, though I have done none of the things with which these wicked men have charged me. The Lord he heard her prayer. As she was being led to execution, God stirred up the Holy Spirit of a young boy named Daniel, and he cried aloud, I will have no part in the death of this woman. All the people turned and asked him, What is this you are saying? We, he stood in their midst and continued, Are you such fools, O children of Israel, to condemn a woman of Israel without examination and without clear evidence? Return to court, for they have testified falsely against her. Then all the people returned in haste. To Daniel, the elders said, Come, sit with us, and inform us, since God has given you the prestige of old age. But he replied, separate these two far from each other, that I may examine them. After they were separated one from the other, he called one of them and said, how you have grown evil with age. Now have your past sins come to term passing unjust sentences, condemning the innocent, and freeing the guilty. Although the Lord says, the innocent and the just you shall not put to death. Now then, if you were a witness, 
Tell me under what tree you saw them together. Under a mastic tree, he, sa- he answered. Daniel replied, your fine lie has cost you your head, for the angel of God shall receive the sentence from him and split you in two. Putting him to one side, he ordered the other one to be brought. Daniel said to him, offspring of Canaan, not of Judah, beauty has seduced you, lust has subverted your conscience. This is how you acted with the daughters of Israel, and in their fear, they yielded to you. But the daughter of Judah did not tolerate your wickedness. Now then, tell me under what tree you surprised them together. Under an oak, he said. Daniel replied, your fine lie has cost you also your head, for the angel of God waits with a sword to cut you in two, so as to make an end of you both. The whole assembly cried aloud, blessing God who saves those who hope in him. They rose up against the two elders, but by their own words, Daniel had convicted them of perjury. According to the law of Moses, they inflicted on them the penalty they had plotted to impose on their neighbor. They put them to death. Thus was innocent blood spared that day. The word of the Lord. Response. Even though I walk in a dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. Even Even though though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. He guides me in the right paths for for his name's sake. Even though I walk in a dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff, they gave me courage. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Even though I walk in dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion that he may live. Pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follow me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, You testify on your own behalf, 
so your testimony cannot be verified. Jesus answered and said to them, Even if I do testify on my behalf, my testimony can be verified, because I know where I came from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by appearances, but I do not judge anyone. And even if I should judge, my judgment is valid because I am not alone, but it is I and the Father who sent me. Even in your law it is written that the testimony of two men can be verified. I testify on my behalf, and so does the Father who sent me. So they said to him, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, uh, you would know my father also. He spoke this word while teaching in the treasury in the temple area. But no one addressed him because his hour had not yet come. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Today we hear in the Gospel, Jesus pro proclaim again, I am the light of the world. Whoever follow me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Indeed, Jesus is true light, come to shine in, uh, in the world and shine among us. And uh, whenever we choose Jesus Christ, uh, we will not live or walk in darkness, but have the light of life. And that's indeed true from, uh, from our prayer experience or our spiritual experience. Even the story of ours really can tell that whenever we choose uh, different paths rather than Jesus Christ, especially if we fall into temptations and uh, sin, we always are living in darkness, not the light of life. But whenever we choose to follow Jesus Christ uh, to really fight against temptations, fight uh, committing sins, then we are in light. And in today's first reading, we hear from the book of Prophet Daniel, uh, Susanna was trying to force into uh, sin uh, with uh, these two wicked men and they come lay a trap uh, for her. Says, you have to lay for, with us, otherwise we will accuse you. Uh, you laid with a young man, uh, because here you are alone. Nobody can testify um, for you, and uh, we will accuse you. But uh, Susanna did not give in, and she chose to really obey God, not um, sin against God. And uh, she, of course, at that time, prayed. But uh, she chose the bright side. And uh, that is, she chose God rather than fall into the trap. So then we hear the story, how through her prayer, uh, she, Daniel came to uh, her rescue. And da Daniel um, gave her the medication and says, she is innocent because of her, his wisdom. And uh, these two wicked men was put to condemnation uh, because they used false accuse, uh, accuse her. So we see that uh, when she chose to stand God's side, and then no matter what happened, even in fear of her own death, even in fear of the false accusement, and, uh, God actually, at the end, uh, fortified her and gave her victory over these two wicked men. So that says a lot about uh, Jesus' proclamation. Uh, I am the light of the world. I am the light. Uh, whoever chooses light will not never walk in darkness. Uh, sometimes in our spiritual experience too, 
Uh, sometimes we give in, uh, give in to darkness uh, because of fear or because of uh, other uh, desires that we have or because of temptations we have. Whenever we give in to the darkness, uh, we live in darkness and our heart will bear the guilt and we are far away from God and look at the world. Uh, people sometimes choose hatred, choose war, choose violence, and they are not creating peace, and they especially living in the dark corner of their life. But uh, whenever we choose Jesus Christ, uh, choose obey Him, choose follow Him, uh, we live in a bright light, and no matter what's happening in the world, uh, maybe it's darkness outside, but we are always living in the bright light in our heart uh, because we are very close to Jesus Christ. So let us uh, come to our Lord and uh, learn from uh, Susanna, and no matter what, we will obey God, and we will follow God's commandment. And even there is a strong temptation outside, and we should choose Jesus Christ because He is the only light that can brighten our heart, especially brighten the world. So if we choose light, and we can shine in the darkness of the world and let them to see that we are the light of the world um, because we follow Jesus Christ. So let us pray for true light shining in our heart and also true light shining in the darkness of the world. The Lord is our shepherd, our light. There is nothing we shall lack. Let us place before him our needs and those of our world. Let us pray for those ensnared by life or crime from which they cannot escape. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for those whose lives are ruined by unfavorable public publicity and uh, no notoriety, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for. Uh, let us pray that we may be slow to criticize others and never haste uh, in our just judgment. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray that uh, in our valley of darkness, we will fear the presence of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Uh, we pray for those people who are suffering in the war. Um, we pray for the end of the war. And we pray for all those people who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Uh, we pray for all our beloved deceased. We especially pray for John Kerblaski, Edward Twyford. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our own personal prayers. For all the prayers in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Father, be with us as we prepare for the Easter festival. Listen to our prayers, those spoken out loud and those in silence our hearts, and grant all we ask through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless the God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for him. For praise the glory of God's name, for our good good of his only Son. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring before you as a fruit of our bodily penance a joyful purification purity of heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for renewing and purifying of their hearts that are freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with sins of this passing world as to hold rather to the sins that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. Drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis of Pope, Salvatore, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember John and Edward and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection or who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may, we may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter to my room, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Strengthened by the blessing of your sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that through them we may constantly be cleansed of our fault, and by following Christ, hasten our steps upward towards you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow your, bow your hand and pray for God's blessing. Set free from their sins, O Lord, we pray, the people who call upon you, that are living a holy way of life, they may be kept safe from every trial. Through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A mass is ended. Go in peace. Good to see you all. Have a blessed day.